Welcome to the All Mixed Up Dessert Round. This is the third and final episode of the series. Three students from the Lincoln Culinary Institute are going to battle it out over the course of three episodes as they have to prepare three diverse dishes, an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. Our students will have to work with three unique ingredients selected by our judges. It wouldn't be called all mixed up if we didn't mix it up. Curveballs will be thrown at our students during each round, and it is up to them to overcome and adjust to the challenges in their quest to creating the ultimate dishes. Chef, honestly, you scare me sometimes. At the end, only one will emerge victorious. I'm coming back, and I'm coming hard, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna win this. They took my stars. <laughs> Every contestant is guaranteed to walk home with a Mi Allegro home appliance set designed to inspire creativity in the kitchen for special gourmet and everyday meal preparation. The winner will receive a cook and bakeware set by Americraft and a trip to the Bahamas. For two rounds, our student contestants have been pushed to the limit of their culinary capabilities. Going into the dessert and final round, Dolly Larkins has pulled ahead with an edge with 135 gold stars. I think going this competition, you have to be nice, but you also have to play smart. But trailing right behind by two with 133 gold stars, Seth Anderson. Things are unpredictable. I can feel the challenge is coming. And Sarah Arnold still has the opportunity to take it all as she's only trailing the leader by 10 with 125 gold stars. The kitchen is all about teamwork, and we all did help each other, so it wasn't that bad. Sounded pretty good. I almost believe her. Time to reintroduce our fabulous judges who are in charge of distributing those much desired stars. Evan Lundy, Carnation Head of Marketing. Margaret Scatini from Organic Girl. Richard Dyer, the Chief Science and Technology Officer for Domino and CNH Sugar. Seth. Sarah. Hello. Dolly, yes. welcome to Dessert Round in the All Mixed Up Kitchen. We have three incredible ingredients chosen by our judges. Nestle Carnation Evaporated Milk, Domino Light, CH Light, Pure Cane Sugar Stevia. And the ingredient that you're gonna start with today is Organic Girl Super Greens. But it might give you some challenge in the dessert round. Are you up to it? Oh, yeah. Yes, chef. Yes. Yeah? And when we come back, we're gonna see how Organic Girl Super Greens makes its way into dessert. Welcome back to All Mixed Up. We're at the Lincoln Culinary Institute in fabulous West Palm Beach, Florida. With our challenges, we'll be competing in the final round. Dessert. I know Seth is terrible with pastries and desserts. Sarah is really good. I think that they both feel a little threatened because culinary students don't really do that much baking. They've had a lot more dessert experience than me. Uh, I don't eat sweets personally. Sarah, tell me what you're gonna do with the Organic Girl Super Green. I'm going to make a brownie with them. A brownie? Mm -hmm. How about you there, Miss Dolly? Well, what I'm gonna do with Super Greens, I'm going to bake them and get them nice and crispy. I was a little tentative at first because I didn't want um, Sarah or Seth, you know, stealing my idea. Go ahead, Seth. Judging on what your challenge is, that'll determine what I'm going to do. Hmm. I like Chef Pagano. He's an awesome guy, great chef. But I don't know if I can trust him with my stuff right now because he's trying to mix me up. So uh, I didn't tell him. 30 minutes are on the clock. Organic Girl Super Green is your ingredient. And your time starts now. When Ralph didn't give us a challenge right in the beginning, I knew that he was up to no good. <laughs> I'm making a lychee brownie using the Organic Girl Super Greens. I'm going with the coconut gelato in replacement of yogurt. To utilize the Organic Girl Super Greens, I'm gonna make a whipped cream. I'm really trying to have the mint as an undertone and have the really natural flavor of the Super Greens to be the predominant part of the dish. Gotcha. How come you didn't want to tell me before what you were making? Chef, honestly, you scare me sometimes. Things are unpredictable. Hello, Dolly. Hello. So, uh, Dolly, tell me what you're doing. So I'm making chips with a nice honey vanilla dip. Do you think this is an easy dish to make for people? Yes, you can use it with um, any type of greens you have. Everybody, Dolly just told me that her, her dish, she could explain it pretty easily. 
uh, and have somebody do it, right? right? Yes. Excellent. Oh, excellent. Nice, nice. So I'd like you to tell Seth how to do it while he makes your dish, while you're down there making Sarah's dish, and she's over there making Seth's dish. You're going to be judged on how they make your dish. Started mixing us all around and telling us to go to each other's stations, and I was just like, what? I have no idea what they're doing. Like, You're going to make the dip, half a cup of this, half a cup of this. Sarah, reduce them in there and make a reduction for me. Butter, cocoa, eggs, vanilla, flour, and then I'll tell you from there. Okay. <laughs> I'm giving direction well, I think. Um, I'm telling Dolly what to do. I have all the ingredients in the order that she has to put them in. All the butter? No! Sorry. But then she takes the butter and she pours it into the fruit puree that I made, which is totally wrong. Oh, oh. I guess just pour all this in there then. Okay. I didn't mean to sabotage Sarah. So what am I making? Brownies. I didn't mean to do it. Um, I'm being really honest. This isn't plugged in. You gonna try and sabotage her a little bit? Uh, I think the butter's enough. I made a mistake on yeah, that. Right. <laughs> Everybody, stop for a second. Stop for a second. Seth, can you uh, get over here in the brownie world? Sarah, can you get over here in the dip world? Foxy, you know where you're going down there? And continue. Dolly, all this cinnamon goes in there? No, no, no. OK, with that reduction, how hot is it? Yes, I was sabotaging Seth. And I know that I have a good game strategy. I'm worried about Dolly and Dolly only. So yeah, that's where I'm going. <laughs> so tell me, have you ever cooked with greens for dessert? I have used fruit purees before in my baking. You're not messing with Sarah's brownies, are you? No. Back to your regular station. Let's do it. After seeing Dolly doing my reduction, it was just a complete gritty paste. Finish. Done. OK, how I used organic girl super greens was I Bake them in the oven so it could be nice and crispy and become a chip. And I made honey and cinnamon yogurt dip to go along with it. The greens look beautiful on the plate against the white. The texture is not as crisp as I had hoped it would be. Well, I think they're great. Something I think you could do at home. Dolly sure took super greens to a super new level. Today I prepared for you a lychee and greens brownie with a lychee cream chantier and a candied greens on top. I got a strong lychee flavor in the brownie. That comes through a little strong. But I love the caramelized green on top. Crispy, sweet, really delicious. What a great way to sneak your greens in by sneaking it into the chocolate brownie. I thought it was a, a great effort. It's a super green berries and cream. Using the super greens, I pureed them in with mint and your carnation, along with the stevia. And the glaze is a pomegranate, blackberry, and blueberry reduction. I'm a little disappointed that the greens don't seem to be the hero. Wow, it's very minty. And the gelato doesn't take it away. I expected the gelato to clean my palate up, and it's not. I wonder if one of the girls put in more mint than he realized. He may have been sabotaged. When we come back. They took my stars. <laughs> I've never done anything that fast. The nice guys can finish first. But the smart guys finish first, first. Dolly was on my station, and she sabotaged both my pomegranate reduction and my whipped cream. I think my plan is working out very <laughs> Sarah. Yes. Seth. Dolly. Yes. We're moving into uh, Nestle Carnation Evaporated Milk. Now, this is a great ingredient that really can sing in a dessert. It's going to be 15 minutes to make your dessert, and the time starts now. We only have 15 minutes instead of half an hour, so I have to change my plans a little bit. The mousse is not going to set up in 15 minutes. So I'm making the condensed milk with a Nestle Carnation evaporated milk as well, and the stevia sugar, and I'm preparing um, the macaroon with a whipped cream and fresh fruit. How are we doing over here, Seth? Really good. What are you making here? I'm making my grandma's boiled custard with a side of cream toast and an apple butter spread. Nice. Go, grandma. Let's see what you got. So how are you incorporating the carnation evaporated milk? I use the evaporated milk in the mousse, and I added a little bit to the batter as well, but I might have to add a little bit more. It looks like you might need to. It's looking a little dry there. <laughs> well, good thing I have the carnation ready. 
They took my stars. <laughs> All right, how are you using the evaporated milk? With the boiled custard, I'm using it in replacement of whole milk, and then with the French toast. Remember, sometimes modification has to happen in the kitchen. You want to buy some time with some stars? Five more minutes. Five more minutes is going to cost you two stars. OK. Bet? Bet. Ralph is um, giving me a deal. Um, he asked me how much time I want, and I said, I have like five minutes. So he took away two of my stars. I heard you were selling stars. What's uh, it, let me hear that deal. So if you actually want to shorten your time, I'll give you a star for every minute that you shave. No deal. I'll be fine. You're in good shape right now? Uh-huh. You're in the zone? Yeah. Get out of your way. Done. Right here for you, I have a coconut macaroon, which has um, evaporated milk in it, and condensed milk, uh, fresh fruit, and whipped cream. Once again, she's wowed us visually. I like the way the flavors all kind of meld together, but you can pick them out one by one. She thought about what she needed to execute. She was willing to take a chance and give away some points, and I think it's really going to pay off for her. You know, I'm not a huge coconut fan, but this is delicious. With the carnation evaporated milk, I modified my grandmother's recipe of boiled custard. Yeah, I think the way he presented it looks like your grandmother made it. It's very charming. He certainly brought a little bit of the South to this dessert. I think you're supposed to dip your toast into the custard and eat it that way. It's very good. It's not too rich. Oh, well, the custard's nice. We use the evaporated milk both in the custard as well as in the wash that he used for the bread. Today I have for you is some fried bananas with a coconut dipping sauce and there's also a pineapple sauce also at the end. The presentation is very simple and I know she did have to change her plans because of the lack of time. Her sauce is quite thin. I don't think she cooked it long enough or chilled it long enough. It's just a little runny. Very runny. It doesn't stay on the product at all. It needs to clean. Maybe she should have thought about buying some stars. She could have cooked that sauce a little bit longer. I don't know if this round was my strongest round because I did pretty well in the entree round, but I'm confident in my dessert skills that I think that I could score high. Baking is my weakness. Now I think I'm going to narrow the gap in to win it. I think I'm going to win by a landslide. I'm going out on faith. I'm going out on my talent. Seth. Yes, Chef. Dolly. Yes. Sarah. Hello. Well, this right now is the last round. This is for bragging rights. This is for the trip. You're going to be using Domino Light, CNH Light, Pure Cane, Sugar, and Stevia Blend. Fantastic for dessert. This round was made for sugar. You're going to have 30 minutes on the clock, as usual. In addition, you're going to have to use one of my favorite ingredients for dessert. <gasps> fish sauce? Thai fish sauce. How am I going to take stuff that's made out of anchovies and salt, basically? and make it something sweet and delicious. I'm used to fish sauce, I'm Asian. Like, we use it all the time. I tried it before, it has a very strong, potent, and salty flavor, as well as a fish flavor. This has to be prevalent in your dish. 30 minutes on the clock, let's go now. What's your dessert here? Uh, I was gonna make a deconstructed cannoli. So, Italian, Asian, no. Loco polo. Worked well with me, but. Right. In this round, the dessert that I'm making is a formage blanc with honey and vanilla beans. All right, Seth, I see pecans, bacon, whiskey. All right, tell me how you're going to use the sugar. To, uh, to make a sauce out of the brandy, I'm going to do some peaches and cream. They're awesome. I love them. So you're sweetening it with the Domino Light. You're, you're adding some uh, whiskey-flavored honey. Can I drink some of your whiskey? It's sauteed peaches, and then I add Jack Daniels Tennessee honey to bacon and pecans. Well, it's a very simple presentation. I think he forgot just the colorful garnish on top of the ice cream. Maybe he was in a rush. I do pick the fish sauce out toward the very end of it. It's a good thing he had the ice cream. Unfortunately, he didn't make the ice cream. Yeah, I think he tried to use the bacon to cover it. I'm not wowed by it. Um, I made for you a deconstructed cannoli today, and I used the domino like, in the cannoli cream. She really did a nice job from a presentation standpoint, a unique delivery inside of a martini glass. <laughs> yeah, look at the caramel. It's actually very good and really tastes great. I love those flavors. I think today's been Sarah's day to shine. 
I made a fromage blanc with honey, vanilla, as well as I made the uh, whipped cream and the raspberry sauce. I think she could have done a little bit more taking her sauce and strewing it through. I also am not sure why I have a vanilla bean. If you can't eat it, it shouldn't be on the plate, right? It should not be there. So she said the fish sauce was incorporated into the raspberry sauce, so it's salty, but not fishy. Healthy can look beautiful and taste beautiful, too. Who will take home the title of All Mixed Up Champ? Only the judges have the authority to determine. The verdicts after the break. Coming up, one of our students will be crowned All Mixed Up Champ. Our winner last season was Emma Eugenio, winning a trip to Trinidad during Carnival compliments of Angostura rum. After the intense pressure of the competition, Emma cut loose and had a blast. Welcome back to All Mixed Up. The judges have sampled the goods and after much decision are ready to distribute gold stars one last time based on taste and presentation. Seth, you made us a parfait with super greens, um, and I, I was a little disappointed because the super greens weren't the hero. The mint simply overpowered the rest of the dish. Seth, you made the grandma's custard with French toast using carnation evaporated milk. The hint of black walnut in the custard was delicious. The old time plating really kind of set off your grandma's recipe. And I was thrilled that you put the super greens in the fruit in the dish. Seth, you made a Southern Georgia peaches and cream dish using Domino Light, CNH Light, Pure Cane Sugar, Stevia Blend. And I thought the presentation was a little dull. I did love that you added the bacon, but you didn't make the ice cream yourself. The person that you're raving over sabotaged me, and I never did that. I don't even pay no attention to Seth. I mean, I'm just focused in my zone. Dolly, you made us Super Greens chips and, and dip, um, and I thought it was one of the most creative, innovative ideas uh, for using the greens as a dessert. I thought that you could have added some flavor to it, and unfortunately, you had some burnt on my plate. Dolly, you brought us a macaroon cookie with fruit and whipped topping, and it was fantastic. I thought that your presentation was fantastic, and the way that you framed your product with the double plates, spectacular. You know, Dolly, I'm not a coconut fan, but you wowed me. You made for us a honey and cream fromage blanc. And I felt when you brought it out, it looked great. However, I would have liked to see you been a little bit more playful with the colors by maybe streak, streaking some through the fromage. I could not taste the fish sauce in the raspberries, which I thought was also an accomplishment. Happy with the colors that you tried to incorporate, but I don't think it was as good as some of your other efforts. Sarah, you brought us a super green brownie and I thought it was fabulous. It was a great idea to incorporate the greens into the brownie with the lychees. And the fact that you caramelized those super greens on top, they were delicious. And then when I tasted it, I was even more surprised at how great that brownie tasted. Sarah, you made us a dessert using carnation evaporated milk fried bananas with a coconut sauce. I was expecting a grand slam from you. You did not take the time to finish your custard, kind of left me flat. You might have wanted to buy some time in the kitchen, and I think you knew that when you brought it out. Sarah, you made for us a deconstructive cannoli made with Domino Light and CNH Light Pure Cane Sugar Stevia Blend. And I have to tell you, I was wow. This is what I was expecting from you. You did a great job with presentation. Considering you had to use fish sauce, the orange zest that you added to it actually enhanced the deconstructed cannoli. You saved the best for last. Over the last three weeks, each of you have grown in the culinary arts. You were put up against many difficult challenges, and you guys rose to the occasion and stepped up in the all mixed up kitchen. It was uh, thrilling to be part of it, and I would say that I deem all three of you organic girls. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> well, that was a pretty exciting round, wasn't it? Yeah, yes. it really was. Seth, how do you think you did? Um, I'm a little disappointed that I, uh, I took a leap of faith and used a little more fish sauce than, uh, than my competitors. How about you, Sarah? 
I'm feeling good. I'm a little disappointed in my uh, fried banana dish. Dolly. I feel excellent and phenomenal. I believe that I did great. All right, that's good energy coming off you three. I like that. Well, it's been a close race. And the winner of All Mixed Up, season three, with 204 stars, is... Set. To see more of that kind of love and check out the recipes and all the behind scenes, go to allmixedup.tv. I'm Ralph Pagano. On behalf of all the contestants, we wish you love, peace, and happiness. See you next time.